So n nine minutes is this one here, and we're going to save that like this, and then we're going to say done. So now the way it works is that if I go to Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we want to talk about how you can create content for syndication that's unique on each platform right so we're going to talk about how you can create content that is based on one piece of content but generates a whole bunch of different things for different platforms we'll get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So that's right, you can create content that's unique for each of the platforms and today we're specifically we're going to talk about using the syndication engine. Last episode we kind of talked about the process of creating and preparing that and today we're going to talk about how you integrate that into the engine to get those pieces of content out of it so that you don't have to record a whole bunch of different videos for a whole bunch of different platforms right so we're going to get to that but first let me remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis485.jsgagnon.com because I'm going to share my screen and showing you the platform and everything else like that so let's get right to it and let me show you what I'm talking about so um let me just uh, go here close this window and share my screen let's get that out of there all right so if you remember last week we talked about video about uh content syndication basically the engine is on click eCourse you go there and you can learn about it about here let me just paste the link right there basically uh this is the link so you go to clickycourse.com slash syndicate it'll show you this page where you can kind of read up a little bit about it and all you got to do is you got to create a, a new account create a free account and get in the syndication engine and then you will have access to it through your account under here under syndication right so what I want to show you today is last week we prepared videos this is kind of what we talked about last week we talked about you know saying let's like, say for example you want to create a video for YouTube you want to have one for Facebook you want to have one for LinkedIn for Twitter for Instagram but you don't have time to create these videos like a crazy person or you don't have the money to hire a team to record or to edit and create all these different videos for the different platforms so you can actually do that yourself using the syndication engine which is pretty cool because I've been using it for a long time and obviously I think it's great because I created it but you can I'll show you how to use the engine and what we talked about last week is let's say we wanted to have uh different videos for four different platforms we, we did Facebook YouTube Instagram and and Twitter and you know we can kind of use uh the LinkedIn one for so what we did is we recorded little intros now these intros can be of obviously redone they the ones I did weren't that great I'm going to redo them eventually but right now I just want to show you the process of setting it all up all right so what we end up doing is we end up wanting this a video like this right a video that has a snippet which is kind of a piece of your longer video you record a long video a 30 minute video for example you want a little piece of that little video at the beginning which is kind of like the reason why somebody would want to watch the whole video because they see this little snippet at the beginning that is piques their interest right it's kind of like the hook uh to get them to watch the video so you want a little snippet at the beginning because you know if you're always introducing yourself at the beginning then they're always going to see you introducing yourself so they won't necessarily be piqued by a video you do a certain week or whatever right well that's why you want to snip it then you want to have an intro for the platform the specific intro for the platform Facebook intro YouTube intro into Instagram intro a Twitter intro and that little intro you know can be 10 15 20 seconds that is basically about uh for the audience of that platform like so you know for example when you when you intro YouTube you talk about subscribing to a channel you talk about them not enabling enabling the notification bell uh you ask them to subscribe whereas with Facebook you ask them to like your page or follow you right with Instagram you ask them to to follow you 
Facebook sorry with Twitter it's follow as well but the thing is you kind of say hey Twitter hey my Twitter friends or my Twitter fans <coughs> sorry my Twitter or in in Instagram they'll say hey my Instagram fans right so that way ooh, geez sorry about that <laughs> that way you're like you know talking to that particular fan base right that's why I have the intro then then you can have a, an intro that's specific to your channel which I have uh, for course income secrets right and then you have a little bit of the video because you know you recorded a 50 minute video or 40 minute video you can't post that on Twitter for example Twitter's got a maximum of two minutes right and so you need to take a little piece out of it and then add a trailer to the end which in my case well you don't have to do that but I do that to kind of let them know that they can watch the rest of that video by and I tell them where to go to watch the rest of it right so I did all these so these are all little pieces that you put together for the video but the thing is that you don't need to do that every week all you do is you prepare the rule the the the, the you know you tell the engine what you want to do every time you up, you put a new video and it'll do all these separate videos for you you don't have to redo this you do this one only once oh sorry I got a, a little paper cut on on the end of this here right so <laughs> God, that's why I got a uh, a little band-aid it, it's not like it's right but you know how you, you get a paper cut and you, you every time you touch something it's like sensitive whatever right so by I'm just putting this band-aid on here to kind of like you know help me with but anyways that's yeah so you get that so okay so let's talk about doing this so we we first we need to create this intro for Facebook let's do that all right so that how do you do that so let's put that away over here and let's show you how you do that first you got to have your series uh, which is one the first step you do is you create a series in my case I already have it so once you have your series then you can edit it but when you're creating I can say create new series right here and I can create a series based on a series of rules but in this case I have my series and if you want help on setting up a series I have other uh, trainings that talk about that but for now let's assume you have your series and you're basically just wanting to add new rules to your series so you go to edit series and then you'll see in here you got the list of all the rules that it does there's inputs and outputs that's why you have uh, upload input and create output right here so the inputs is where you would upload the videos we did that last week so let's just create the output so we create a video output you create output you click on the video right here and we say what do we want to create here in this case we're creating the Facebook intro snip whoops Facebook intro snip I'm just gonna take that from my text file and I'm gonna post paste it right here that's the name of it okay so that name is used elsewhere in the engine whenever you're trying to do something else afterwards you use that name to make the next part of the of the process right so then over here I'm just I can just say Facebook intro uh, so that's just a label so intro snippet right I'm gonna just do that like that so what I want here what is the action that I want for this video right so what I want is I want to concatenate two videos together so I'm taking the the um the snippet and I'm adding the Facebook intro that I did right so I'm going to concatenate two videos so the first the first source the first asset the part number one of the asset right what is the part number one well the part number one is the snippet so the snippet will be where is it uh prefix prefix video no that's a concatenation the highlight there it is that's so in my syndication my little snippet that I'm extracting is called highlight that's the name I gave it so I just use this highlight right here and the second one is my intro to Facebook my Facebook intro right so it'll be uh, I don't know if it's sorted it's down here Facebook intro this one here Facebook intro you can see it says input asset right <clears throat> so that's what I want here now the output is an mp4 and there's no maximum length it's just going to put them together and create a new video for me so I just save that like this and now I have for scroll down the bottom here we're going to see there's an output called uh we called it fb intro so I don't know if it's sorted is it sorted alphabetically these are oh output videos there's the output videos right here so fb it's probably right yeah right there fb intro snippet that's the that's the in the output that we just created now so that creates the first part of our video so if I go back here 
to my to what I'm doing here this is this is I did this I created this Facebook intro which is these two pieces together right that's the first part now if I want to I could go on actually well let's do this let's do this one now so now the next part is the Facebook intro with CIS on it which is my second piece which will end up being these three pieces like that together right so the first thing you do is you got to put these two pieces together then you can add the third piece and so we'll do that we'll do this one right here like that all right so now let's go and create another output which is called Facebook intro CIS so I'm going to do another output video and I'm going to call it Facebook intro CIS right so Facebook intro CIS right <clears throat> and this is again is going to be concatenate two videos together the the source the first one is going to be the FB intro so down here right down there all right so this one here it's going to be the Facebook intro CIS and then I want the other part which is my in my case it's a little like the explosion the supernova thing so it's actually the supernova energy supernova intro this one here all right so that's going to generate this output it's going to do that with those two pieces so I'm going to save that and now I scroll down here Facebook intro these are video in. so now I have this one here Facebook intro CIS now it's I, I the organizing and the, of this is really you know it's not very um intuitive right here but if you keep track on the side on a piece of paper you know because it's it it's a lot right to put all these things together even me I I'm like oh well you know but I know what I'm need I need to do I have my my list here so it's it, I just follow along this right so now we just created this one here so now let's create the end nine minutes so Facebook we need the end nine minutes so we're going to need this so let's create the end nine minute all right because we need that part two which will be just these two pieces here together right so let's do that let's go there let's create the end nine minute and I'm going to create another video output and I'm going to call it like this it's going to be end nine minutes and let's this is again concatenate two videos together so the first video will be uh actually the full video so full video where's the where's the source that's actually the syndication source video that's the one so the syndication source video is the video you actually upload to the platform the one you record that has your you know your content your video that you're recording so that's what I want but then I want the maximum length of it um to be oh no right um, and then I want right I want the second part oh that's not gonna work I won't be able to do it like that I have to actually create a nine minute video oh so I can't actually do that you know what I'm realizing because the engine doesn't doesn't let you take two pieces and then you know specify a certain length for one piece and whatever it become it can, would become too confusing so we actually need to do something else here we need to do over here we also need to do so I'm going to change the numbers here this will be 9 10 11 and then we'll have 12 13 and 14 and this will be 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 all right so that's what it's going to be but this is not going to be end I'm just going to call it video nine minute it'll just be a nine minute video and this will be video and actually it's the other way around let's actually let's fix that oh I can't okay so this will be video uh five minute and video two minute okay so that's going to be like this like this and these actually go before because I need them for the other one but they actually go here and the numbers are wrong right so this will be number nine this will be number 10 and this will 10 and 11 right here and there we go let's do that and this will be 12 13 and 14. all right so now what we need here is we need the video nine so this will be video nine video nine minute this will be video video five minutes and this will be video 
we want it. So there, so now it'll allow us to create this. So let's do this. Now we need to create the video nine minute because we need that for Facebook. So let's do that. That's what we're doing right over here. We're going to create a new video, uh, video output. And basically all it is going to be is going to be a trim and fade video. Um, oh, so we actually, we can do that with this, this method here with this action. So we could just do that, but let's not do that. Let's trim and fade video. Okay, so what I want is this is going to be video nine minutes. So video nine minutes. So what I want here is I want this to be a maximum length. So nine minutes. And that's not the right button I clicked on. Let's close that out of there. I want the calculator. So we want so we want nine times sixty, right? So that's five hundred and forty minutes. Five hundred and forty seconds is what you need to put in there. It's like number of seconds. This is seconds. So five forty. And yeah, we can do that. And it'll fade the video at the end, the last I think for five seconds or something it fades it down so the volume goes down and the video goes away so you can transition to another to a trailer right so we do this and we can do that for the five minutes might as well okay well no let's not worry about that I can do the rest after so now we do the uh let's get that syndication link out of there so you can see the rest okay so now we need to do this one create the end nine minute which is the video nine minute we just created up here and then we add, <laughs> add the trailer to it right so let's call this end nine <coughs> nine minute all right so that's the end nine minute we gotta go in here create another video output we call it end nine minute so end nine minute and then this is going to be a concatenate two videos right because it'll be the first one will be the video nine minute and then the other one will be the trailer uh, the the trim five minute uh final it's called the uh, trim outro output input asset trim outro is that what it is because it's trimmed oh I think that's just the original name I'm pretty sure that's the one so we can just do that we'll do this and I can look at it we can go into the input assets right here we can just look at it to make sure that that's the one we want so trim outro is this and if I just yeah that's the one I want I want this little outro which is 28 seconds that uh, that I can use to generate this so now I have done the last part of the Facebook one is this create the Facebook video itself so the Facebook video is the intro CIS which is now this part here which is basically the three pieces right let's just uh, make this a little bit uh, so it's basically the three pieces this part this part and that part right and then plus the end nine minute which is this one which is this part here in the trailer right so it's those all those five pieces together end up being the one video at the end so let's just do that again and you do a new video and then this is going to be called uh let's it's fb video and the label is fb video and then we do a concatenate two videos together so the first one is going to be the fb intro cis which is right here cis and then the second one is going to be the n9 minute so n9 minute is this one here and we're going to save that like this and then we're going to say done so now the way it works is that if I go to any of these that I've done in the past I can actually come in here and I can refresh assets and it'll automatically pick up this this new set of series series of assets you can see right here I've got <coughs> you know all these different assets that it's generating if I refresh this because I changed the syndication but the thing is that next time I do another video when I do my next video I won't have to do that because it'll already know that list but if I click on refresh it now 
you can see that it will regenerate the ones that I didn't have already right the Facebook intro snap the Facebook intro CIS the video 9 minute the end 9 minute the Facebook video now we can just wait for a few moments or if I want I can just refresh oh it, it did reload so you can see right now that it's processing the intro snippet which is the oh no the intro snip yeah right so the, which is the first part so the one that's do it's going to do first is this one because we already have the snippet and we already have the Facebook intro those are two videos we already have but if I if I come over here and I mouse over this one that says waiting you can see that it says that it's waiting for Facebook intro snip it needs this one to generate so it'll just wait for what it needs and it'll just you know it'll just do its thing it'll generate the pieces it needs and then it'll generate the rest of the pieces and that's just kind of how the engine works so that's how you do your um <clears throat> that's how you do the videos for let's say Facebook right so we got the Facebook one so let's do the next one right we have uh four of them to do I'm not going to do them all probably in this video because we're already at 20 minutes in but to give you the idea of how it works you can always you know pause and go back and watch the rest but let's do the second one the YouTube one the YouTube one eh, we're doing also the we're doing it with the full video so the YouTube one we don't need an end because it's full we don't need a you know a, a, a five minute or ten minute or whatever it's the full video <clears throat> uh, but we need the um the outro the intro the CIS outro and the full video the full video obviously doesn't have the, the you know the trailer at the end that says go watch the full video here <laughs> right because it's it's already part of it so let's just do that let's go in, in here let's do the YouTube intro right here so YouTube intro so let's do that let's go over here again we go back to the edit series right up here and then we say new video output right create output video output so what we want to call it is this is Facebook in YouTube intro snip so YouTube intro snip right so this will be two videos together again concatenate two videos together syndicate the first one will be the snippet which is called highlight and it's only called highlight because I called it that I can kind of show you a little bit about that in a second but so and then the second one is going to be the YouTube intro which I think is right here yes YouTube intro all right and by the way you can after you've done these rules you can change these videos as often as you want and it'll automatically use the new video after you've replaced it right so if I'm not happy with my YouTube intro then then I can re regenerate recreate another video and replace it and then it'll just you know work so there you go so this is YouTube intro and we're just going to save that like this so now we have our YouTube intro snip so now we have our YouTube intro snip so now we need to do the YouTube intro CIS which is the two pieces again so let's just do that one so we come in here new video we give it this name this name and then we come back in here and we give it YouTube intro CIS right All right, then. then this is again concatenate two videos the first one is going to be the YouTube intro snip and the other one is going to be the uh, in my case my supernova and there we go and now we have the two pieces all right so then the next part is uh so YouTube the YouTube one is we don't have this we don't need this we can just go ahead and do this now <clears throat> right so we do the YouTube video which will be the intro CIS plus the full video so I'm going to do that I'm going to put that over here new video output it's going to be called this so YouTube video it'll be concatenate two videos together and the first one will be the YouTube CIS right and the second one will be the actual syndication source video the full video right and then that's it we just save it like that and that's that's all we do for YouTube and we can come back here and then we can just go back to the whoops generate assets <coughs> so we have all these here you can see they're working right these ones are, are building we got the Facebook intro snippet is done right and now it's building the other two it's doing the video nine minute because you know it can do that separately 
but now if I just refresh assets again it will load up these two new ones from YouTube or three new ones from YouTube I think <coughs> just gotta give it a second there to load up but it'll it'll load up the new YouTube ones and I can just go ahead and create the other one so <coughs> you can see right there now we have the YouTube intros that are there now right YouTube intro snip is already processing this one's uh, at 11 percent says 38 minutes left and how long it takes depends on the, how many other things are going on right on the server and stuff but that's kind of what you can kind of see get an idea of how long it takes to do the things <coughs> and you can see the ones that are pending they're just basically in the queue they're going to happen whenever the system uh, is uh, available to actually process it but that's basically how that works and I was saying earlier that uh what was I saying if I look at the series again I'm probably gonna remember hopefully um I was saying something about the source all oh, right I was saying you know the highlight the one I call the highlight that's because I called it the highlight if I look in my a series here the highlight I called it that when I created it at the time so if I look for highlight the highlight is is a there's a highlight right here it's extract video from other video source right it's a little so if I look at it you can just click it to see what it's like what it is from yeah okay and so the highlight is basically extract video from other videos syndication source video is the source and then that's it and automatically whenever you create a new extract video from other video or if you create a a new um where is the other one if you create a new and the images or videos videos and text images if you create a uh, uh them, where are the images I'm looking for the thumbnail, thumbnail. I kind of want to show you what that <coughs> these are inputs and these are outputs so th these you see these little up arrow things those are the inputs these are all things that you put in the system as as you know things to help with the rest there are inputs like the, the intro for Facebook for example the intro for YouTube that I uploaded last week right um but the thing is that the other ones that have the down arrow they're outputs so the outputs <coughs> are what the engine generates for you right so it can be a video this is the video icon right there it can be a oops that's the videos it can be text that it generates it can be audio it generates it can be an image it generates and this is the video thumb extract video thumbnail from source so either you extract the video from another video or a thumbnail it'll automatically add them to the video extract tab right here and in here you have the full video right there and you choose where inside the video it gets that piece either a video piece or a, an image right so this one here the gift thumb and the gift 1200 and the video thumb those are all extracted images at a certain position if I go to that position you can see that that's where it's going to get its screenshot you can choose to go someplace else and use that <coughs> as the screenshot position right you just go to this you can, you can play it and, and right now it's slow because of everything I'm going on right now but you would see the video right here you can actually see what it'll grab once it loads up here in a second um, what that image but as you can see right here I have different timestamps for different images I'm, I do six different videos or seven actually different videos different uh, little pieces of snippets for uh, the engine but that's kind of what that is so where I choose this and you can see this one is called uh this one is called highlight right here right so the highlight is the one that's used for the big beginning of most other videos and that's at this position right here 139 same thing as these uh thumbnails right <coughs> that's 139 right so that's kind of how uh you choose that and once you've done that under generated assets it creates these images so I don't know if we can finish this the 29 minute one is not done yet this one's already doing this but I can show you this like for example if I look at the Facebook intro CIS if I just click on download here you can actually we can actually watch it and you can see what it is so I'm just going to pause it for now but you see right now there's uh can you see on there let me just go back here 
yeah so you can see right there that it's a nine minute 34 second video that's because there's a 10 second um you know snippet right here so let's just go to so 10 seconds so five six well let's just turn the sound off so you can kind of see but over here you can see it's six seconds seven eight nine and ten and then it's this intro I did the other day that's like I said it's not good I got to redo it but it's the intro there that says hey my name you know Josh Gagnon welcome and please you know like my Facebook page hey Facebook fans and whatever I talked to Facebook right I talked to Facebook that's uh, 14 seconds so that'll be 24 right there and then it's the little uh, uh, explosion intro which is another I think five seconds or ten seconds or something and then that ends this little part that ends this part of the video right but that's the when we talked about the pieces that we need to put putting together right that's this whole piece right here without the nine minute in the trailer so what we just watched is these three pieces put together and then it's building right now the nine nine minute video and then it's going to add the trailer to the end of it you see right here it's at 23 percent of the nine minute video but after that it'll put it all together and then you'll end up with these uh, assets you can download you can come down here and then you can post them to Facebook post them to Twitter post them to Instagram post them to LinkedIn so I'm going to finish that up and I'll be right back with all the rest all right so I've created all the different asset uh, uh, rules and now I've reloaded and you can see right here they're all going to be built <coughs> and it you know it takes a little while but that's something you don't have to do anymore this is done now every time you record a 50 minute video a 30 minute video that's too long for Twitter that's too long for well I mean obviously you can post that on Facebook but, let, but let's say you want to have just a 10 minute video on Facebook you can actually do that using this engine and all you do now is upload your video and that's it you don't have to do any of these other rules because it'll generate all these for you automatically just by uploading the video and clicking the button so we'll let let it finish and we'll come back when it's all done so you can see what it looks like all right so it's all done so now that means that every time that you create a new video all you got to do you go to new syndication you upload the video and then it'll automatically generate all of these so now we can use them if I want to uh, download um, the video I can actually like right now if we just go back here and go back there it'll reload the whole list and give me the links right instead of just the black here <clears throat> so now I can go and I can download my uh where's my YouTube videos right here and then I have my IG video right here and I have my Twitter video right here so if I click on this it'll just you know start playing it in the tab there but I can save it let's just let it start I can just now in this case here's one thing that we're gonna I'm gonna have to go fix is as you can see it's two minutes and 32 seconds and that's too long for YouTube and the reason why it's because I didn't measure it right basically the I have the intro here which is 10 seconds and I have my YouTube my Twitter intro that's there right and then after that I have the <laughs> hello <laughs> I have this part right and then after that part I have the actual video itself if you'll remember if you remember we had this right here like for you for the Twitter one right so for the Twitter one we had the snippet 10 seconds the Twitter intro 14 seconds the CI intro 9 seconds 1.5 minute video and then the trailer 28 seconds so if I really if I took the time to do the to the to do to do the math right it would be 10 10 plus 14 plus 9 plus 28 that's that's the amount of time all the pieces take right so if I do the math on that and just go get my calculator here we can do 10 plus 14 plus 9 plus 28 so that's equal to 61 so that's 61 seconds so that means that the the Twitter part the the part of the video that we can use is going to be actually just uh 59 seconds 59 seconds max for 
uh, video part, uh, part of the main video, right? So when I did this, that means that this video here, this two minute, or no, this video two minute right here. So this video two minute, instead of being one and a half, which is 90 seconds, it would need to be, you know, 55 seconds, right? So how do I fix that? So I would come over here, I would go to the edit series, I would go find my five minute end, which is uh, video five minute, uh, two minute. So this two minute video, instead of being 90 seconds, it would be, you know, 59, but I can probably make it, let's say 55. So give me, give it a little bit of wiggle room, right? Plus if I ever, if I ever redo my intro and it, it's longer, maybe this might be better if I put it at 45 seconds, right? So I'm gonna do that like this. <clears throat> and then if I do this, then what I can do down here is I can actually regenerate. So I would regenerate the video two minute right here and that will regenerate it but then I have to regenerate the other one but this is only for this one here right so for for next week it'll just it'll be correct already so it'll generate the right pieces that I need so this one video 2m I have to regenerate the video 2m where's my uh, notepad so I have to regenerate the video 2m I have to regenerate the n 2m so let's go back here the n 2m I have to regenerate this one too and I have to regenerate I think that's it is that it oh and then I have to regenerate the actual Twitter video because it's the end part two so I've got to regenerate the Twitter video where's the Twitter Twitter this one here so basically what it'll do is it'll well actually I would need to wait for each piece to be generated because now it's going to just redo redo them because it already has the other anyways that's beside the point so you've got to regenerate the 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 end video the two minute then read but like I said you don't have to worry about that if you do the math right and you set it up right then it'll work every time and if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time